to the US now and President Donald Trump and his Democratic rival Joe Biden are both campaigning in the crucial swing state of Florida. It's just five days now before Election Day, so let's turn to Washington, D.C., where we can speak to our reporter, Ray Suarez. Hello to you, Ray. The economy is always an important part of any election. So what are both candidates telling their supporters in terms of what they will do to get America out of a pandemic downturn? Well, the federal government reported on economic growth in the United States today, and the number is a fabulous number, 7.4 percent growth in this latest quarter, an annualized rate of over 33 percent. Donald Trump has been crisscrossing the country, telling voters that his administration gave the United States, in his words, the greatest economy in the history of the world, and he's promised that he will bring it back to that status if he's given another four years on the job. Joe Biden responds that those gaudy numbers, 7.4 percent and 33 percent, are only possible because the economy was crushed by the coronavirus pandemic in the first two quarters of this year. And it's the president's mishandling of that crisis that has resulted in that economic downturn. The Biden campaign points out that the economy is smaller than it was a year ago, and there are fewer jobs in the United States than there were a year ago. Ray, we're now heading into this final stretch of election campaigning. The ballots have yet to be counted, but there is still huge legal battles taking place. What more can you tell us? You know, in a lot of senses, the battleground has moved from the polling places to courtrooms where both parties are fighting it out over how ballots get counted, which ballots get counted, and how long they take to count. One crucial battle is happening state by state and heading up the appeals court ladder to the Supreme Court. How long do you have to count mail-in ballots after the polls close? They're normally counted in the days after Election Day, but now rulings from the Supreme Court are hinting that those hours of counting will be restricted. That's a big benefit to the president because his voters are more in-person voters and Joe Biden's voters are more mail-in voters. Ray Suarez, joining us here from Washington, D.C. Thank you very much.